Hello everybody, JRDL96 here, and I am back from vacation, and we're back with another episode of World War II. Now, I honestly don't even remember the last video I did with World War II, but I decided to take a little break from World War II and go back to old school roots of Black Ops 2. But, due to the circumstances of Black Ops 2, and how... That game has become completely ruined by a bunch of Neanderthals on their mods. I decided to go back to the current game, World War II. But I also have a new gaming series in the works, like maybe Black Ops 3, due to hype us up for Black Ops 4, the travesty of Black Ops 4, because for some reason, campaign is so time-consuming. Oh, fuck's sake, I just kind of find that <laughs> absolutely her atrocious, that excuse. Throwback Mosh Pit. I have to get the War Machine DLC. So, we might as well do continue with Team Deathmatch, and continue with some rage, and stressful rage, and all that satisfying rage that you have missed for the last week! <laughs> Oh man, I missed you guys so much, have I? Even though I've gotten a little bit of burnt sunburn and everything, and I've been going crazy on Instagram, just going, being fun, a little bit of a hilarious goof than I should be. But it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Now my life is miserable again. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So what have I missed? Apparently Markiplier is in exile, like, because he's signing all those goddamn calendars. And Mark, Jacksepticeye is going crazy with it and being cryptic with hit with his channel a little bit with the, uh, you know, Mr. Chase Brody. He's, uh, depressed, I guess. Uh, I don't know what's going on but the last thing I saw was like that one video that Jack had where Jack was like what like um you pick up a hand a little doll hand and then he's like oh you're not supposed to be here get out come on over here you fuckers I am back do you know that I guess not, jackass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my! That guy really wanted to say hi. Give me a welcome, welcoming committee. Oh, like make me waste my Molotov cocktail, you shithead! What a cunt! What a cunt! Hey, pay attention. Get my latte while I'm at it, while you're at it. How did I still kill him from that This That's the, that's the thing with this game I, sometimes. Even with any Call of Duty game, you still kill him from the, that exact distance. But there will be times when you try to do it again, it just, it's unaffected. Unaffected. It doesn't really work, apparently. <laughs> right to my trap, you little shithead. Burn in hell, motherfucker. Burn. Burn, motherfucker. Burn. Just to get killed instantly next. Just to get ne killed next. Instantly. Black Ops 3, I gotta be honest with you, like, eh, it's an okay game. Oh, this poor horse. Uh, that's one thing I have not noticed this whole game, is that ho dead horse. Oh my god, I saw somebody j That's a big package you're packing. <laughs> what is that thing? That looks like an RPG machine gun. That's the BFG! The big fucking gun right there! That looks like the BFG from Doom. 
And it's like the equivalent of a BFG. That's another game I might want to do an online gameplay series of. Doom, even though Doom is over two years old. <laughs> I felt like being a little bit of a jerk off. It's a matarats. Hi. Oh no! Fuck you! Enemy recon aircraft, sir! Oh, you have your flame fireproofing on. Do I need to fucking make you disintegrate? Should I snap my fingers? To make you all disappear? Oh, an assist. Thanks, jerk off. Enemy recon aircraft, sir. Should I snap my fingers just like that? Make everybody disappear? Half the universe disappear? You want me to do that? Because I will gladly do that. Seriously, people, stop the camping tactics. It don't work for me. Somehow it works for you. I will never understand that. But how does it work for you? I'll never understand. It's called laziness, and you're not use. You're complaining about boots on the ground. Use them, you jerk off. How about use them for once in your miserable lives? You whine about boots on the ground when Infinite Warfare was announced. <laughs> Use them! And you're just standing there. Your legs, your the blood that's flowing in your legs are probably cl clotting up. When you're not moving your legs, that's what happens. Your your blood starts to... The blood starts to clot. Oh my god, this person's like doing the whoop-de-whoop. This person's like doing a loop de loop around me and trying to. Enemy spotted! Enemy spotted. Terrorists win. I never played Counter Strike, but I do know that's where it's from. Recon airborne. It's really refreshing not to see any modders in this. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if there is, if there's a mod. Once in a blue moon here. I wouldn't be surprised, but. To see it not in every single game mode, like in Black Ops 2, it's very refreshing. Shut up, you'll you'll live. It's just a scratch. It reminds me of that line in uh what's that movie, that that horrible Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, End of Days, where he <laughs> Somebody gets shot, and he's like, stop being such a pussy. And the guy goes, fuck it, he fucking shot me. And then Arnold goes, just a scratch. <laughs> he fucking shot me. Just a scratch. You deal with him. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, you wanker. Fuck off. We're losing him! No! <laughs> oh boy. Incoming enemy soldiers, most likely. They're trying their best to lure us out. And they do gratefully. What is he shooting at? The wall? What is he shooting at? What's so specific about that wall to shoot? Then you need to shoot it. Got him! Yeah! Got his bitch ass! Got his sorry ass! I take a break for a week, not doing videos, having a great fun time in Bermuda, and this is what I get in return. Shit. Nothing but shit. I'll still never forget that clutch. Ugh. 
Ah, fuck. What are you thinking we did? We tried our best. Hey! It's a me! Oh, this is a highlight. <laughs> that scream! Ah! <laughs> that scream! Ah! <laughs> that scream! What the fuck was that scream? <laughs> what the hell was that scream? What was that? I get ranked up to level 43 in my first thing back. Hmm. Duelist. Hmm. Alrighty. You know, it's been a lot of fun in Bermuda. There was a funny, uh, there was a funny incident, not necessarily an incident, that happened today on our final day when I was at, we were at breakfast, and I saw a woman. I'm not saying it's wrong, but it just felt weird in the public place. She had a little baby. I guess still like a few months old, like a month or two old and all of a sudden I see this woman breastfeeding the baby in a public place on a ship three two one let's go Ding. I'm not saying that's wrong there's nothing wrong with that but still to me it was like um, awkward. It just felt awkward, and I, it was just right in front of me, and I'm like, I didn't, she didn't say it, like, she didn't give me, I just gave it a look like, dude, that's not the right place to do that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that that's common. Still got him. Fuck you. Set your legs on fire. You'll live. Payback? How's that Payback. How the fuck is that payback? I, this is my first death. The momentum for now. Temporarily. Okay. What? What did the guy say? Oh, he's dead. No! <laughs> the passionate king kills me again. But it felt so weird, especially in a public place like that, to do that. I'm not saying it's wrong. Like, if she wants, if she wants to do that, then that's totally fine to her. But again, it, to me, it's like I've never seen shit like that before. But it just felt awkward to me. It felt weird. I'm like, what the? Why the fuck would you do that? But look, I'm not saying it's wrong. But it just felt weird to me. Please don't get, don't be upset with me. Don't be mad at me, women. Please, I respect you all. But seriously, I've never seen shit like that before. Like I know what breastfeeding is, but I've never seen it in public like that. It was like so random, random too. It was so fucking random, and like, I'm here. We are just. I'm eating pancakes, and all I see out of the corner of my eyes is this woman breastfeeding her baby. No, fuck off. Now watch you become the Flash. Wouldn't be surprised if mines are planted. But 
still, it just felt weird to me. It was, like, awkward. It was, like, one of those awkward moments. But there was a funny mo I don't know. Like, I don't remember a lot of funny things that happened on the cruise, but it felt... I met a few women. I met a, three hot ladies, but didn't get their number once again because I rarely saw them on the ship. I rarely saw them. Like, and I didn't want to approach them and give kind of give them the cold shoulder. I didn't... I just... Well, and I'm pretty sure everybody's face palming right now. Look, don't fucking judge me. I tried my fucking best, but I did become friends with them. I kind of became became a little friendly with them. Like I wasn't trying to approach them as to be in a relationship. I just want to be as friendly as possible, and they were very really nice. <laughs> I remember the first night I met them, I was just in the in the jacuzzi. I was in the j j jacuzzi on the, the the high deck. Stop shooting me, you fucking douchebag. Thanks. Really appreciated to put your BFG away. Shove it up your ass. I don't know. Put it up your prostate, maybe. Oh, come on. That was a headshot. Terror Dog. What a fucking name. It's Terrorizer's evil twin. It's Terrorizer's retarded cousin. Still got him. Fuck you. <laughs> Payback. Yeah, so take your PFG and shut up your ass. Where was this guy? What weapon is that? The Epic? It's called the Epic. What the fuck? Some gun names are just weird. The epic! The epic F fucking gun. It's the EFG. The epic fucking gun. Th uh, that's the name of it. It should be called the EFG. The epic fucking gun. Because it looks so epic looking. Oh my god. I'm not pure sarcasm for fuck's sake. Dude, you can go. Oh, what did you. What were you doing? Ch white Choco fa Fam. Were you still stuck in the Bermuda Triangle? Is the influence of the Bermuda Triangle influencing you? Yes, we, I did go to Bermuda, and it was it was a weird time in the Bermuda Triangle. Luckily, nothing crazy happened, but... What I was really, really surprised about was the, the amount of promotional stuff that they were doing. Like, the amount of, like... Like, how much public... How much they were promoting the Bermuda Triangle and... Like, I was really surprised about that. I thought they would be like, we want, I would be, I was really surprised that they would be promoting the hell out of it. I was expecting them to be like, oh, we don't want anything to do with that. We had nothing to do with any of your planes or ships disappearing in the, in this span of it, this region of Bermuda, blah, blah, blah. But they're like, oh, come to the Bermuda Triangle store in the Clock Tower Mall. Like, they had... A store called the Bermuda Triangle store like they had a Bermuda Triangle store and I actually bought a t-shirt that said I survived in the Bermuda Triangle just to be funny like I thought it was hilarious but I saw f a funny one I saw a funny t-shirt I wish I got I wish I got this t-shirt it said I got I got this t-shirt saying that I it was something about like it had something to do with, like, oh, I survived the Bermuda Triangle, but I got this guy, but I got this free shirt. It had, it's almost, it almost felt like saying, oh, I was too scared to be in the Bermuda Triangle, but I got this t-shirt anyway. Like, it was something along those lines. Wake up, huh? What? What did the guy say? You do it. Fuck you. I'm not dealing with that shithead. You do with that shithead. What a matarazzi to be. I'm not doing that well. Well, what do you expect? 
a little rusty after like a, a week, a couple weeks. Come on, we don't want to, we can't lose this matchup. Come on, we can't lose. But we all know what's going to happen. We're going to lose. See? Just like that. <laughs> this is fun. My god, my body folded up like an accordion. Jesus Christy. How much you want to bet this footage ain't going to go through? My first time back and I just get my ass whooped. <laughs> wow, look at your gun. Your gun is gold. Stay gold, pony boy. Yes, that is one of my favorite movies. The Outsiders is one of my favorite movies. But overall, the vacation was really fun. I actually did a, a whole like vlog... It, like I vlogged pretty much most of the trip. Uh, it, it might like now you're probably gonna be asking me when are we gonna see it? When you're gonna see it? Um, it may be a while <laughs> because the thing was I started with five hours and four minutes of like space on the 64 gigabyte like little memory card thing. And I came home with at least 39 minutes left. So I have five hours worth of footage to go through. And what I'm going to plan, what I plan to do is like choose specific videos and put that for like part one, part two. I want to do it in like the sense of like how Mini Lad or Terrorizer does their vlog videos. And I actually found the music that they use that. Do, 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 like the mini lad one that that little catchy tune that mini lad uses for his vlogs that do do, do, do it was ah, shit what was it called if you want to know you have missed everyone how to flip it back to did you miss me what a gem oh what I also missed well this was today regardless but I saw earlier today Jacksepticeye met Ryan Reynolds. And I did remember seeing that Jacksepticeye noticed that Ryan Reynolds actually follows Jacksepticeye on Twitter. And I thought that was cool. But going back to the vlogging, like, it's something... <sighs> blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Instagram notifications got in my fucking way. As they always should. Oh man, did I miss those days. Just looking at every notification. It's called Mist by Maxwell Young. Trust me, look up Maxwell Young Mist. You wouldn't be this. You won't be disappointed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that I'm back doing videos again. Most likely, if this footage does go through, which most likely it won't, but it, if it does, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of a notification squad. Be sure to also check out my Instagram because I make cool ads at Markiplier, Jack, except the guy, even myself. I also do reenactments of cosplays on there, so go check it out if you want. So, oh boy. Until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.